My name is Sam Estes. I'm an amateur disc golfer um, in West Michigan. Um, today, we're going to do a video on the Trash Panda Inner Core. Um, just going to play probably about six holes out here. So I realized I forgot to, forgot to kind of introduce the hole. Uh, this is hole one on the course. 270 feet straight out there to that basket uh, so for those of you who don't know the inner core is a fully recycled disc made by trash panda um, and the company was started by a guy named jesse who wanted to uh, make disc golf a little more sustainable for the environment so this is the first disc they've released when he talked about it and i kind of agree after having used it and felt it some it feels a lot like innova's star plastic which for a putter and mid-range size disc, I don't really enjoy that feel. It feels a little slippery. I prefer like a more rubbery, grippy plastic for a putter, but so far I've really enjoyed it as I've used it. So. Oh. Yep, not good. So, just realized I forgot to hit record, and but just made the putt, so in for par. I'm gonna go to hole three next. All right, so we're standing on the tee pad for hole three here. It's a 200 foot shot. Uh, just kind of straight through this gap. Fairly tight through the woods. Um, a lot of the course is played in the woods with a few open shots like you just saw. Up this out. Well, not too far, but no real look at the basket. Got a few trees in the way, so just trying Lay up here, take the car. It's honestly fine with me. Yeah, it's really good. So the inner core, I can't remember all the numbers. I'll put them down below. But it is a two-speed putter. Um, and even though I used to throw only forehands and still primarily will throw a forehand if I can for a drive, Forehanding this just isn't that comfortable to me. Just with how shallow or how deep it is, it's just, I don't know. I never get a super clean release out of it. I don't know if that's the case for most people, but for a backhand, it's definitely a great throwing putter. It just goes super straight, maybe a little bit of turn, and then hardly any fade, which I really enjoy. So now we're on hole eight. Um, kind of skipping ahead a little bit. But it's about a 200 foot shot. I don't know if you guys can see, there's just a short little walking path that we kind of followed. But it, like, dogs like super hard to the right. The best shot you're gonna get on this is a three, even though it's a, a part, even though it's only 200 feet or so. There's no real great look at, I get into birdie ever. What I normally do on this hole is right at where the path kind of turns, I just try and get throw my shot up there, get it land. <clears throat> so I don't want to move too far to the right because if I'm short, I'm just in trees or too far right, I'm, I'm just in really thick trees with no path out. So just kind of let, try and lay up along the path and then another little easy toss up to the basket. I'm gonna try for, I'm gonna try for a stand still today. Of course, I hit the first tree available. So we've left ourselves a bit of an interesting look. The basket is kind of right out there. So there's no direct line, no, yeah. Just gonna kind of throw a soft forehand, even though I said I don't love it. Throw our forehand, we'll try it. Just get all back along the path a little more than we are. be too bad should be able to get up and down for a bogey which i don't know not too bad on this hole you know it's funny i right after i said that i don't enjoy forehanding this disc i had to throw two forehands with it already so Now we're on hole nine out here. 
Um, there's kind of two gaps you can take. Uh, there's a tree here in the middle, kind of splits the two gaps. One is with like a zone or an overstable mid range. I like to use the runway for it. Um, so kind of put it down there, you know, and drop down the ravine. Or for a straighter shot, just kind of straight to the right side of this tree, which should be a pretty easy shot with this disc. So. This little gap right here, right above me. Um, I'm just gonna let it flip towards the basket. Oh, that's a nice one. Moving on to the next hole for today. I think this is the fifth one we played. Um, 140 feet straight down there. On hole 16, um, plays about 260 straight through. There's a little gap on the right. Uh, and I'm going to flex it in there and let it finish back to the left. Shouldn't be too bad, definitely released it way too early. But there is a, a bit of a gap there on the left. It's just not, not one I always try and go for because it's a bit tighter and hard to get there for a birdie if you're throwing a driver or something like that. I don't know if you guys can see the basket. It's kind of right over there somewhere. Um, yeah, not a great look at the basket, but I don't know. Should have something here. No. So yeah, that's kind of my review of the uh, inner core from Trash Panda. Super straight flyer, little fade, a little bit of turn maybe. Um, but also a lot of that could just be bad form on my end. So... Yeah, and hope you guys enjoyed seeing this, seeing a little bit of the course. Um, I'm hoping to make a few more videos, kind of showing off the rest of the course, maybe a few other discs in my bag. But yeah, if you want to support Jesse and Trash Panda and kind of their goal of making this golf a little more sustainable, I'll link, the, link their website down below where you can pick up one of these. Yeah, thanks for watching.